Hi, my name is Riley Adams, and my project for the social enterprise is a stall gap cover that I'm calling the Peep Nemo, so that you can say goodbye to uncomfortable public restroom visits. So the problem revolves around three major issues, which are lack of privacy, safety, and gender inequality. So with lack of privacy, if you've ever been in a public restroom stall, you know that there's large gaps which can be seen through from the outside and into the stall. Um, safety is also an issue. I have a link that's posted here, um, and it just tells about some different situations that you could encounter while in public restrooms that the stall gaps lead to. This also is a gender inequality problem because um, with gender neutral restrooms now, there's a lot of different genders that go into the same restrooms, which can pose as a safety hazard. So my solution is a retractable device that would cost around $25 to $30. Um, it's, here's my prototype. So you pull it down over the stall gaps and you hook it with these hooks up here, which are on a Velcro strip so that you can move around the hooks depending on the make of the stall. And you can lock it so that it doesn't go back up while you're in the restroom and then you just pull it back up to retract it again. So here's what my initial design would look like and it's probably what it would look like once this version is more condensed eventually in the future. Um, so it would just have a smaller device that would be able to be portable and you could just carry it in your purse or maybe even like a keychain kind of thing. And then here's a picture of my prototype all spread out so that you can see it. So with the profits, I would use about 30% of the profits to, increase, to use the increased profit margins to purchase more supplies to build more prototypes. And 25% I would use to pay employees for their service. 25% I would donate to local families in need, which there's a link right there where you can see different families in need locally. And 15% would go to overhead, which is just costs of the building and stuff like that. And then the remaining 5% I would save for college. So the competition, I did a lot of research and I found that there's only one other solution to this problem. And it's a sticky strip that you stick to the inside of the stall, but it's not portable. And I feel like a lot of customers would prefer to buy a portable one. So they would buy my stall gap cover. So the target audience, um, I read a lot of studies and it said that generally women are a little bit more private than men, or they tend to be. Even so, there are a lot of men that are still more private and would prefer to have more privacy in public restrooms. And then the average age, I also read studies, which is linked right there, um, that older people would be more likely to buy this because people become more private with age. So some goals that I have for the future, um, I would like to produce a working and useful device um, increase personal privacy in public restrooms, and I would like to help people become more comfortable with using public restrooms. And then here's just some milestones that I have within the first six months and within the first year. Um, so I would like to sell at least 200 devices within the first six months, which is probably kind of a low number, but since I would need time to get everything started up, I think that it's a reasonable number. Um, I would like to achieve and maintain a positive cash flow, and then I would like to help at least 15 families who are in need locally. And then within the first year, I would like to sell at least 500 devices, um, have a growing demand for the product, and help at least 50 local families in need. And then here's like my dream team. Um, so I have the communicator, which just kind of keeps everything flowing throughout the company and even with like other companies too. Um, the dreamer who just kind of comes up with new ideas for the company. Um, a data specialist who is also the um, person who deals with all of the finances. Um, a friendly smile. This can go a long way in a business because if you have someone who is always nice and greeting people, then more people would be 
likely to do business with you. And then the problem solver, um, they just they help solve all of the problems and keep everybody on a friendly basis. And then the doer just kind of also keeps things going and moving around. And then I'm the CEO. And then here are some websites that I use to find my information and research. And that's it.